Over the past year, the U.S. women's national field hockey team has put the world on notice. They are charging hard up the rankings and, as we've seen, are a tough matchup for any international squad. As BRC's 11's Chad Landers shows us, Team USA's rapid improvement is all thanks to a new training regiment built on speed, discipline, and hard work. The group of athletes here, the cohort of girls the USA team are, are like, they're a special bunch with regards to the physical qualities they already possess. One, two, three, white. With regards to their full potential, I'd say that we're probably at 85%. Um, and that's really promising with already where they stand on, on a world scale with regards to physical abilities. And where they stand in regards to their worldwide ranking is an historic mark in and of itself. Team USA coming in at number five overall for the first time in program history. A lot of that accomplishment attributed to their newer, intense physical focus on training. Our focus has always been on how well we're playing on the field. We've just kind of introduced the fitness part a few years ago, probably two or three years ago, um, and that has been what's elevated us. You know, um, we we've had we have the skill. We've always had the skill. Um, just that fitness piece is taking us to the next level. There's no other team out there that I think are superior to us from a physical standpoint. In a game against Korea, they're winning. But I'm looking at the midfielder next to me, the opposing midfielder next to me, and she does not want to do what we're doing. Like, you could just see it in her face, in her body language, like, and that's what we're taught to kind of read those, like, signs. And the man directly responsible for taking the U.S. women to another level of physical dominance is Director of Performance Science David Hamilton. His new physical style of training targets both aerobic and speed conditioning in these Olympic athletes. In a typical week for Team USA, they have four or five sessions on the field, three running sessions during the week, then hit the gym at least three times a week. And take it from the athletes themselves, it's hard work. It's tough. It's really tough. And, you know, it's just natural to kind of complain sometimes when you're getting tired, but you just have to realize that that's kind of what propels you to the next level, and I think everyone's well aware of that. Sometimes you have to remind yourself it's worth it because it is really hard work and after a really tough run you're like oh gosh I just want to go home and sit on the couch but then you still have training to do after that. We talk about you know unremarkable Tuesday and we're doing the work but you know that's what's going to make the difference come five months from now that we've done that work on that day where we didn't want to. Whatever like you're hurting Craig always says like the other team's just as bad but we have the ability the physical and mental ability to keep pushing when they don't. It's that mentality that's allowed the U.S. women's national field hockey team to rocket up the world standings and really compete with teams like powerhouse Argentina. And the coaching staff will be the first to give all the credit to the players who have earned it with their work ethic. We're blessed in that we have uh, terrific athletes here um, and the raw, the raw material is very good to start with. They're the ones that drive the standards, they're the ones that come out and do the work every day. They kind of have these real aspirations of themselves and the team and where they want to be. Um, and for us as coaches, we're predominantly just facilitators of that kind of environment. It is hard work, day in and day out, watching what you're putting in your mouth, how much miles you're putting in your shoes, and how much weight you're lifting. It is like, it's probably, the, it is the toughest thing I've ever done. With the U.S. Women's National Field Hockey Team, Chad Landers, BRC 11.